Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my May Ipsy bag here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag, tried out almost everything in this bag. There's one thing I haven't like fully tried out, but I have some thoughts on it. So I'm gonna run through the different products and let you know what I think about this bag. So let's get into it. So the theme this month is all about summer. It says your summer story starts here. So that's what the little card looks like. And then it says on the back, there are 93 days, 15 hours, and 47 minutes of summer. Are you soaking them up? Whether you're craving a road trip, a sun-drenched siesta, or a poolside fiesta, we dare you to take a day off and make it happen. In fact, your May Glam Bag picks were chosen to make all your warm weather dreams come true. So, cute little theme this month, and I absolutely love the bag. It's see-through. And it's got little um, ice cream cones and little popsicles. It's stinking adorable. One of my favorite bags we've ever gotten. I just think it's so cute, very functional, easy to clean, great bag. The thing in here that I haven't really fully tested out is this lotion. This is the Hemp's Pure Herbal Extracts Pomegranate Herbal Body Moisturizer. It says Hydrate Plus Renew. So I've sniffed it and it smells really good. Yeah, it smells like pomegranate but I haven't used it yet. I have a lot of lotion, so I may pass this on to a friend, um, but I've used this kind of lotion before, like in a different scent, and I really liked it. Like it was nice and moisturizing. Um, it says, enriched with 100% pure natural hemp seed oil. So that's really nice. So it has a nice summery scent to it, but I have a lot of lotion. So not my favorite thing in the bag, but not a bad item. Next I got a brush. This is the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if I'll use it for foundation. I may try it for that at some point, but today I actually used it for my contour, um, but I wanna try it for my blush too. I wish I would've done that today because I really like um, blush brushes that are kind of more like flat and still have a little bit of give to them. So I think this is gonna be a really good brush for blush. Um, but maybe for foundation at some point, we'll see. But it's really nice and soft. I love all the Luxie brushes that I've ever tried are so nice, such nice quality. They're really some of my favorites that I use you know, fairly often. And I've built up kind of a collection and they've all been through subscription services that I've gotten them. But cute little handle, really nice brush. Next I got a little duo here. This is by Manicadar Beauty. This is a bronzer and highlighter. And what's funny is I at first thought this was eyeshadow until I saw more eyeshadow in my bag that we'll get to in a second. And I was like, I got two eyeshadow items, which I was excited about, but then I read it's bronzer and highlighter. But you could use it for eyeshadow, there are no rules but I did use it for bronzer and highlighter today. Um, this is nice. Really the only complaint is it's very tiny, so it's a little bit difficult to get in there with a brush for um, highlight and contour purposes, but for eyeshadow, it'd be, it would be totally fine. Um, very pretty. I think this would be really pretty as eyeshadow. My favorite, well, I was gonna say my favorite of the two is the highlight, but the bronzer is really pretty too. It's a shimmery sort of a um, color. So as a bronzer, you know, it is a little bit shimmery. I did use it today um, in conjunction with a matte bronzer just to kind of like tone it down a little bit because it's pretty shimmery, but really pretty, um, kind of a thicker sort of a texture. The highlighter seems a little bit chunky and just kind of thick. I was trying to see if it has like shimmer in it. I don't necessarily see like micro shimmer, I think it's more that it just has a thicker texture so it can kind of look a little bit chunky. Um, but I'm not mad about it. I'm excited this is in my bag because I love this sort of stuff. So this is a win too for me being in my bag. And then the actual eyeshadow item that I got in my bag is this product. This is the Pacifica Island Life Natural Mineral Eyeshadows. And I don't know, oh, it says shades, skinny dip, Coral Sand, Golden Treasure, and Sandalwood. So let me show you what it looks like. I do have these on my eyes today. They're pretty, like this is a pretty little palette. Comes with a little um, two-sided spongy dealy. Didn't use the spongy dealy today, I used brushes. But this is very pretty. Let me show you swatches real quick like. Um, these do have kind of like I don't even know how to describe them. An interesting sort of a texture. It's sort of like, I mean, they're kind of powdery, but they're still pigmented. They're still really pigmented. 
Um, so I don't really know. I didn't have really any problems using them on my eyes. They blended nicely. Um, I didn't really notice a ton of fallout, but I didn't, like I was kind of careful when I was using them. But um, I don't know. They just seem a little bit powdery, but still really pigmented. So I'm still impressed with them and I'm still really excited about this palette. And I think it's very summery, really, really pretty for that kind of like sunset summery sort of an eye look. Let me see what it says. Every true beauty knows it's what's on the inside that matters. Formulated without carmine, parabens, and petroleum. Created with women, animals, and the planet in mind. So that's really cool. And it says it's available at Ulta. And you have a coupon code of PACLOVE. P-A-C-L-O-V. So that's really cool. So I'm really excited about that palette. I think that's a great item. And the last thing that I got in my bag, my very favorite item in this bag is this lipstick. This is by Mello, and this is the matte lipstick in Posh. This is what I'm wearing right now. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this. It is beautiful. It's a gorgeous like matte, um, mauve nude. It's beautiful. Such a nice formula. It is a matte, so it doesn't feel hydrating necessarily, but it doesn't feel drying either. It's just like that perfect formula where it's just gonna stay there, not move around, um, but not look drying on your lips. So impressed with this. Has um, a little bit of a, I don't know how to describe it. Um, kind of like a baby powder, I don't know, bath product sort of a scent to it. So. A nice scent, but not my favorite scent. Um, but I love the lipsticks. So that is my favorite thing and the whole bag. It's beautiful. All right, guys, so that's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. So I think that this bag is one of my very favorites I've ever gotten. I'm like super excited about four of the five items. I love the bag itself. So this was a major win bag. So yay, yay, yay. If you wanna sign up for Ipsy, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. If you subscribe to Ipsy, I would love to know what you got in your bag this month. What was your favorite item that you got? Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.